Alrighty, we're doing lines inside of triangles. So we need a triangle. B to C, C to A. Awesome. Now, let us draw three lines. We're going to draw three angle bisectors. Not just one, because they all meet somewhere. So first, we just want to draw some circle. And then I want to draw two circles the same size. Where though? I need to draw one at D and I need to draw one at E. And these two circles have to be the same size because they got to get us a bisector thing. And I'm just going to guess, uh, draw out size one. Hey, actually bigger than I need. Size one. And I just want to move things a little bit. Okay. Now we need the intersection of those two circles. And we will draw a line through those two, through G and F. F, G. Awesome. It is going through the corner A. There is an angle bisector. We need to draw three of those. So again, come up to another side. Draw a circle. Find where that circle crosses both sides. And then draw two same size circles. Radius. Uh, circle on H, size one. Circle on I, size one. Find where those two circles cross. That's K and J. Now draw a line through where those two cross. Uh, if you can't really find, click on it here and be sure, you can always click on it over there. There's another angle bisector. Now we're gonna do it again over here. And circle center and point. Again, doesn't doesn't matter how big you draw it. You just have to have certain things happen. It has to hit both sides, and now these two circles have to be the same size and cross each other. And be on L and M. Find where those two circles cross each other. O and N. Again, if you're not sure that you can hit O and M, N with your line, you can always click on it over here. And look at those. The three angle bisectors all cross at one point. Let's find the point. Again, you can only find the intersection of two things. So point P is where those three angle bisectors cross. It will always happen. I can move this all around. They are always crossing at a point. There is something special about that point. That point is the center. Yes, another center. The center of a circle. And that circle this is actually the hardest one to deal with. It touches each side is what it does. So this is where you put something if you want to be the closest and the same distance to find the same closest distance to all three sides. So from P to Q would be a radius from P to something over here would be a radius from P to right there would be a radius. It doesn't have to be along the uh, angle bisector line. Notice Q is not on the angle bisector line. This one is just kind of close to it. Um, but it's a perpendicular distance to the side because a perpendicular distance is the shortest distance. So this is called an in-center because it's the center of a circle inside the triangle. Um, future term, this side of the triangle is tangent to the circle, this side of the triangle is tangent to the circle here, and this side of the triangle is tangent to the circle there. 
at that point that it's hitting it. Um, tangent is a perpendicular con concept. It's perpendicular to a radius. Um, so you had to make three angle bisectors. Make one circle on the on the vertex. Make these two twins where those circles cross the sides. And then the three angle bisectors will cross at an in center. And the in center is the center of a circle. It's inside a triangle, which is the shortest distance to each of three sides. So if, uh, I don't know, you're going to rob a place and you want to park the car so that it is the closest distance to any of three of your roads to get away on, uh, you want to park it at point P.